Now we come to the next topic is karma. Now what is karma? People keep karma actually means action. Sometimes people say, Prabhupada, Krishna very clearly says one thing. Everyone is forced to act helplessly according to the qualities he has acquired from the modes of material nature. Therefore, no, can re, no one can refrain from doing something, not even for a moment. So take it out of your mind that you will not do anything. You will have to do something or the other. When you say I am not doing anything, then also you are doing something. What are you doing? You are not doing anything. You must be sitting at least. Sitting is doing anything or something or not? Lying down is, lying down is doing something or not? If you are flying also, you are doing something or not? You are doing. So that means in every stage of your life, you will be doing something. So this, uh, take this out of your mind that you can live without action. So if activity is an integral part of us, that means we'll have to be very cautious that what acts to do and what acts not to do. So he says, it is indeed impossible for an embodied being to give up all activities. Difficult. He says in Shloka 1815, 18 means chapter, 15 means verse, whatever right or wrong action a man performs by mind, body or speech, you perform Good or bad action by mind, body, and speech. Now we coming more, now becoming technical. Some sometimes people say, "I am doing karma yoga." I'll be coming to yoga very soon. First, let us get the definition of karma. This question was put up by Arjuna to Krishna that what is the definition of karma? Now try to understand this. I'm going to go very slowly because it's very important. Action pertaining to the development. Action pertaining to the development of the material bodies of the living entities is called karma. Development of what? Material bodies. That means we stay here. Where do you get a material body? In Kunta or Vaikuntha? In material world or spiritual world? In material world. That means I am doing my karma. That means you are getting entangled. Very nice. He is very happy. He does not know what is right and what is wrong. He does not know it. That what is right and what is wrong. He doesn't know. Now what does Krishna say then? He says, Even the intelligent are bewildered in determining what is action and what is inaction. What one should do and one should not do. Intelligent people are also bewildered. Because they are intelligent but not wise. Now, we have to understand. Now, there are three types of action. Now, be bear with me. Three. First, I will give you the common names which you know. Then, I will give you the technical names which are basically stated in the scriptures. First, is called Papa, Punya, Papa Karma, Punya Karma. And the third which actually, very few of you must be knowing, if, they, if you know also, is called A Karma. What is it called? A karma. First two you all know. What is punya? Punya is activities which are done according to the scriptures but for getting some material gains. You desire some gains for that you follow the scriptures. Right? That can be demigod worship. Punya is a part of demigod worship. But what happens in this? When you do prayers, like I tell people in Rajasthan, those Marwadis will be worshipping and the Gujarati fellows also worshipping. I mean, next birth you will get in America. And then next birth you will go into Narak. Because you get to do sinful activities very easily. So easily. You go to Narak also. Simple. Not necessary. If you are smart enough, you can take the best advantage of this place and still be God conscious. Because here everything is arranged in such a way that if you want, I will be talking about, on it when I talk about destiny in the next 3-4 minutes. You will understand that how can we use this place then. If a smart person uses Prabhu, we are not of this place. So you should know how to use it. Thorn I gave the example yesterday. 
thorn goes in, you should know how to use the thorn and take out this thorn, right? And if the thorn is, what is the thorn? The thorn is all antiseptic and everything, then it's great, no? So in that sense, life here is antiseptic, right? Is it, more, it is more easier than life in India. So, but how to use it? You convert this antiseptic into septic. That's why it's something all this also else is also known as septic septic tank. So karma punya. You have to, what happens when you do such activities? You will get results, which are what these six opulences which we talked about. God, na? beauty. Person will be very handsome. Or a girl winning a beauty contest, right? Beautiful. Then fame. You get a lot of fame. Knowledge. You may be a very knowledgeable person. Get a Nobel Prize or something like that. Writing books and getting prizes. Knowledgeable person. You may be very, you have a lot of strength. Like in the athletics. People in athletics, athletics and boxing and all those people. You may be getting that. By doing those punya activities. You may get any of this. And then next is Papa. Papa will, which you are acting against the sanction of the scriptures. In, with the, in, in, when you do like that, what will happen to you? Shortage of money. Not looking well. Beauty is not there. Knowledge is not there. All these things will come about. Like born in Somalia. You have seen those kids? Malnutrition? Have you ever thought? Am I doing any act where I can be born there? I used to think like that. And I didn't want to get born like that. I'm sorry. I thought like that. Because I believed that there is that the reincarnation is there. And today, with so much of studies being done, rebirth is almost proven. But the basic fact is it doesn't come out. Because if it comes out, then the whole lifestyle of people will change. That these MNCs are going to have problems. The ones cosmetic companies are going to have problems. All these cells, they are, what they are selling, they will have problems because people will become more need based than greed based. Today what, what are we? Greed based. When you See remember one thing, a person can only be cheated, a person who is greedy. A person who is not greedy can never be cheated. And the cheaters only work on the person of uh, the greed of the person. If you are greedy, you can be cheated. If you are not greedy, you can never be cheated. Very simple principle. That's why a devotee can never be cheated because he's never greedy. He fulfills his needs. So V karma, pap. Now it is known technically as V karma. V means against karma. And, and the first punya is known as karma. And the third is akarma. Now the question comes: what is akarma? Akarma means two things. One akarma means that you're not doing a duty. That is bad. Now another akarma is there that which is not karma. Now, what was karma's definition? Karma's definition which I gave you was that you get new material bodies. And our karma will mean by doing those actions, you will not get new material bodies. And if you don't get your new material bodies, that means you are shedding off your body. Then you go back where? Vaikuntha, spiritual planet. You come into your original position. At this moment, our original position, Prabhu is all covered up. We got this all bag of mucus tool and pus. What is this, Prabhu? It is bag of mucus, stool, pus, bones. What are they? Life gives them. Life gives this body beauty. You can subscribe for daily spiritual clips on WhatsApp and email at www.givegita.com/slash-subscribe. You can also watch our lectures on Disha TV channel or on our website www.givegita.com slash tv every Sunday morning at 8.10 a.m. Get world's first audio video correspondence course on Bhagavad Gita, a very logical, scientific and easy to understand explanation on Bhagavad Gita. You can get the DVD set of our correspondence course at our eBay portal at www.bit.ly forward slash give eBay or you can mail us at contact at the rate